everyone's joining and today I'll be showing you guys the book that I bought the last couple of months. So I think the last book haul I did was back in March or April I think and or back in February I think I don't remember but I only have 10 books to show you guys of the books that I got from the last couple of months and and you guys probably could tell that I've been doing book hauls less and less, less just because I've been cutting back on my book buying and also I'm um, trying to save money for the baby that was just a totally different thing but I can I've been cutting back buying books before I was pregnant so I'm trying to save money for that and plus I will be buying myself some books before the baby comes and plus books for the baby so I am going to be doing a book haul specifically for the baby and um, once it gets closer to the due date so I am just want to talk about some of the books that I got from the past couple of months so yeah let's get to the book haul. So the first book that, that I got is Before Coffee Gets Cold by Tashikasu Kawagachi. I'm sorry if I pronounced the other thing, I got this from an independent bookstore um, a couple of months ago, like back in March, because I told my mom that I wanted to try to visit more independent bookstores more. So I got this book because I know this was hyped on BookTube for um, a couple of years, and I don't know much about it other than that it takes place in a coffee shop and there's time travel. So that's all I know about it. I know there's like maybe four books in the series, and I just really like how simple the cover is, especially there's a little kitty cat on it cover but I am excited to pick this up whenever I can. I know like with a lot of hyped books I am uh, I have trouble um, not only get, it, get into reading them it's just I, there are some books I just haven't been in the mood to read but hopefully with this being short I would be able to read this really quickly so I could continue on with the series if I am enjoying it so yeah hopefully I'll pick this up soon um, whenever I can. Uh, so the next book that I got and I got at Half Price Books is um, By the Book by Jasmine um, Glory. I'm not sure of how it's pronounced and I apologize for it. This is a contemporary retelling of Being a Beast. This is a companion novel to If the Shoe Fits by Julie Murphy, which I really enjoyed. I read this like maybe two years ago or last year. I don't uh, remember, but I I've read The Wedding Date by her, and I really enjoy that. And I know she has companion novels in that series, so hopefully I end up enjoying this one. I know there's a lot of companion novels of different fairy tale retellings in a contemporary setting. I know there's the Little Mermaid one, there's a uh, Rapunzel one. I don't know if there's others, but but yeah, I enjoyed some of them, and I thought I would pick this up, and hopefully I'll read this one on whatever I can because I know romances tend to be a uh, 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 helps me get out rain slumps whenever I'm in one but yeah I'm excited to pick this one up either way. And the next couple of books I got us was for Easter that my parents got me. One of them is Any Which Way You Can by Amanda M. Lee and I don't know much about this I just had a different list of cozy mystery books that I'm interested in and I got a lot of recommendations from uh, uh, Goodreads or people that some of my followers on Instagram recommended some of them to me and I don't remember which one this one was but I'm excited to pick this up. I don't know much about it. All I know is it's just it's a cozy mystery that has witches in it which I am interested in. I know I've read one like a while like last year which I pretty much enjoyed so yeah I really like the cover. It's so spooky looking and this might be perfect for Halloween read if I want to read this around Halloween time so maybe I'll pick this up then who knows it depends on my mood but I'm excited to add another spooky read to my TBR. And the last book that I got from Easter is Nocturne by Alyssa Weiss and I rem I don't remember I know I picked up this wanted to read this book because the cover is very pretty and oh it takes place in Chicago that's probably why it's some of the reasons that I want to read this but it's like about a talented ballerina who's trying to find herself and try to pursue her dreams in ballet so so yeah it's supposed to be like a um, like a historical fantasy I'm not quite sure but but yeah I 
surprised that it takes place in Chicago because there's not a lot of books that takes place in Chicago and I grew up in a Chicago suburb so yeah I'm excited to pick this up hopefully I end up in enjoying this because I know this was on a anticipated read from last year or two years ago but let me check when this book came out yeah last year so hopefully I end up enjoying this and yeah and like I said there's not a lot of books that takes place in Chicago but hopefully I'll pick this up um, sooner than later but whatever I'm in the mood for it <laughs> and the next book that I got is Rise of the Cinder Fae by Wendy Dean and this is a fantasy romance and I that's all I know about it I got this from Unplugged book box for their romance box and I just really love this edition I just really love this cover and back cover and spray edges even underneath the dust jacket and the the end pages so I know don't know much about it other than it's a romantic um, fantasy romance but it's supposed to be like a retelling of Cinderella if I remember correctly but I do hope I end up enjoying this just because I know I'm getting into a lot of fantasy romances lately and and this is like very big I think it's over 500 pages hopefully I'll end up enjoying it so yeah it's like almost 600 pages so I do hope to enjoy this so I can um because I just saw the a glimpse uh, in the back of the book that there's going to be a sequel to this. So, yeah, I just really love this cover. It's so gorgeous. So, yeah, hopefully I end up in, in, enjoying this thing as I'm into... I've been trying... I'm slowly getting into fantasy romance lately. And the next book that I got is um a manga. And, of course, it's a manga that I just needed to get. Which is Stitch and the Samurai by... Um, Hiroto Wada. I I only know about it. This is like if a story of Stitch. Um, instead of him landing in Hawaii, he would land in Japan. And that's pretty much as far as I know. And Stitch is one of my favorite Disney characters. And look how cute. And and I know that I think there's like only six in the series. But I know that I'm really curious about it since I love Stitch. And I am just can't help it. I'm I love Layla and Stitch. It's one of my favorite Disney movies. And as a Disney fan, I'm like, yeah, I need this manga. <laughs> so, yeah, I kind of bought myself as a reward for being, like, brave for the doctor's appointment, which was a doctor's appointment at that point, because sometimes they make me nervous and I had to reward myself somehow. But, but yeah, I'm really excited to pick this up soon. I don't know when, because I know I have other mangas on my TBR that I haven't picked up yet, like, at least four more so hopefully I end up in enjoying this so and it just looks really cute because it's Stitch so yeah maybe I'll see him learn how to sword fight who knows but yeah I'm excited to pick up this manga either way and the next book that I got is The Swell by Allie Reynolds and I don't know a bunch about this book all I know is there's a main character whose boyfriend died in a tragic accident and she swore off of surfing and that's all I know about it. I know I've read Shiver which was her debut book I think and I really enjoyed that so I know there's like a like a murder mystery twist in here because I know that she wrote a um, murder mystery with uh, with a previous book so yeah I'm really curious about it and plus like not only the cover come my interest I read this from a previous author um, I've read one of her previous works before, so I'm kind of curious about it, and hopefully I enjoy this as much as Shiver. And the next book that I got is The Jan Dangerous Ones by Lauren Blackwood. I don't know much about this. I know I got this from Once Upon a Book Club box, one of their, like, one-time purchase boxes, just because the, not only the theme caught my interest, but all I know about it, it's a historical fantasy. Oh, it's supposed to take place during the Civil War, that'll be interesting oh with vampires oh cool so so yeah I am excited to try this out because I like historical fantasy I know I enjoyed some of them that I've read so I do hope I end up enjoying this and I will do an unboxing feel in a ring vlog because that's how I do it with once upon a book clubs because I know I got inspired from Melanie from completely Melanie because I know she's been doing that for years so I'm curious about this book hopefully I'll read this soon. I know I have another one that I haven't read yet from a, um, an adult box, but 
But we shall see, and hopefully end up in join us, because I know the last young adult book that I've read as a one-time purchase was a disappointment. Hopefully this wasn't, it's not going to be a disappointment for me, but either way, I'm still giving this a try because it sounds really interesting to me. And the next book that I got is The Darkness Within Us by Trisha Lemon Seller. This is a sequel to The Darkness uh, or The Shadows Between Us. I think it's supposed to be like a companion um, slash sequel to it. But either way, it's been one of my anticipated releases of this year. I'm just glad that I pre-order this because it has a pink ribbon on it and the sprayed edges is so pretty and also not only end paper is pretty but under the dust jacket ho 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 I am loving this edition and I know they reprinted the um the shells between us but I don't care if they don't match just because on my because I have another edition like this with Vengeance of the Pirate Queen and they don't match with the other two editions I have of on um, the Daughter of the Pirate King um, books like the previous two so I'm like I don't I don't care so um but like I said it's supposed to be like a companion or a sequel to The Shadows Between Us so if you haven't read the first book the first book's about a girl who wants to seek revenge on uh, Shadow King like trying to woo him and marry him and then kill him for his power and then she finds out that someone else is also after him so yeah it's a fantasy romance I really enjoyed it it's one of my favorites by Trisha Levisseller other than the Daughter of the Pirate King books so I do hope I enjoy this as much as the the first book and the last book that I got I I got this from Half Price Books because I had a, a birthday coupon from Half Price Books so I'm like might as well use it and the book that I got is the True Love Experiment from or by Christina Lauren and um, I haven't I, I've read one of their previous books before and I en enjoyed it and I don't know much about this all other than as an adult romance and I know there's a some kind of experiment going on so so yeah I am really excited to try this out I know my grandma really enjoys on their books so I trust her opinion on it so I'm excited to try them out uh, try this one out because I'm pretty sure I'll enjoy them. I know I have other books by them that's on my TBR. Um, the Honey Don't List is another one that's on my list. Uh, I'm trying to think on top of my head. But I know there's other books by them that I want to read. But I am excited to read this. But it's kind of making me nervous when it's like close to um, almost, yeah, it's past 450 pages. <laughs> but I am still excited to pick this up since I enjoyed uh, one of their previous books. <laughs> so that's all for my small book haul. If you enjoyed this video, give me a thumbs up and comment down below what books that you bought recently because I would like to know. If you haven't already, click the subscribe button and click the bell icon so you know when I post new videos. Also, you can follow me on social media like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Goodreach, which all links will be down below for you guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!